I took this box of glass bottles and I went to the window and I just started throwing them out of the window one by one and they were just falling down to break um, and my grandmother didn't know what was happening until the shopkeeper um, underneath <laughs> the house called and he was really scared and he was really angry and he told he was yelling at my grandmother um, basically and he said um, if if you can't take care of kids why have them in the first place <laughs> and that's a story that everyone uh, talks about my full name is Ahmed Al Sayed Ahmed Al Sayed Gubar so it repeats uh, I'm from the class 2020 um, and I major in MCS yeah. my biggest regret is that I went to an Indian school for all this time and I could have easily picked up Hindi but mm -hmm. I've only picked up the basics and all I remember now is how to read and write so the plan is in the future to go back after I perf <coughs> perfect my Spanish to go back to Hindi as, as my fourth language. There was this one class where uh, we were talking about national anthems. It was a social science class and I thought that, that so the teacher was like, oh, we have people from other nationalities. Ahmed, why don't you come up and sing your national anthem for us? And I was like, okay, cool. And I go up and I realize that I only know the first four lines. Um, and to, to the people, it wasn't obvious because I was singing in Arabic and I just kept repeating the first four lines. And they didn't, they didn't find out anyway. But to me, I went back that day and I was like, wow. Be uh, like, am I really Egyptian? Because I sing the Indian national anthem every day and I know it by heart. But I don't know my own national anthem. And I guess, like, I wasn't, like, nationalistic. But I guess the why people stuck to their national identity a lot. Because you were in, in an expat community. And when you're in an expat community, you have to... Uh, find an identity that you hold on to and then when I couldn't find that well like like I, I was told I was not Indian and I was like told I was not Omani and I thought I was Egyptian and then I couldn't sing the national anthem and then I just had this huge identity crisis that lasted for a couple of years um, I would say uh, but yeah I think that it's all good now <laughs> I'd like to think that um, amongst the Middle Eastern populations Egyptians are the funniest uh, but I'm also obviously very biased uh, like there's always a sense of humor in spite of um, like the tough daily life that I, w that I would think that uh, is in Egypt. Like it's always very busy, it's always very stressful, but people always find a way to, um, to joke about it. So there was this professor here who, who, who was visiting Egypt and I was like, oh, she was like, oh, do you want me to get you anything from Egypt? And I'm like, no, but please enjoy the food from me. And she's like, that's, that's not good food. And I was like, wow, okay, what about this? She was like, you can't mix a lot of carbs and call it food. <laughs> what people not know about me? Um, I, I don't know because when you tell me people, I think of my friends and I think that my friends know almost everything. There's no deep dark secrets as far as I know. Like I think the primary thing is that I really wasn't enjoying what I'm studying and that's quite important to me. Like I found that I wouldn't be able to sit and study for more than half an hour straight, which for med school is a problem because you need to study for hours and hours. Um, so then I realized that, oh, actually, I, I still haven't decided what I want to learn. Um, and Yale and Yos would have been a better choice in terms of exploring that. Um, and that's when I like, reached out to admissions again. And I was like, hey, can I change my rejection to a deferment? And they were like, no, but you can apply again. <laughs> like, if, if I had this conversation with someone, I'd just give them a fruit and be like, yeah, that's, I'm a Kiwi, you know? Like, for whatever reason, but I feel like this is this is a very permanent <laughs> like this is gonna be out there and once I decide what food I am. It's gonna go on your resume. Like it's gonna be life. it's gonna be for the rest of my life. You are this fruit. <laughs> and I would have to have good reason to change it in the future. I was thinking of kiwis because I have kiwis in the fridge that I need to finish. <laughs> but that's that's it. That's all I have <laughs> for this question, yeah.